protester for massive human chain in Manipur. Pyong, happy overgrowth of Gorin language and culture in northeastern region. And ahead of Ayodhya verdict, 4,000 paramilitary forces rushed to UP. Welcome to Times of Manipur News, I'm Jay Shaw and I'm giving you the news in details. Against the backdrop of Indonaga agreement that came to reach on October 31st behind closed door in New Delhi, the Citizens Club Soibam Lakai, Wang Kai Kuno, today staged an alert human chain protest at Soibam Lakai of Imphal East under the aegis of Kokomi. Several volunteers of local Mira Paibi organizations of Soibam Lakai, Wang Kai Kuno and Hafiz Hatta, members of Citizens Club along with students and staff of YSHYS School Soibam Lakai and Halley English School Wang Kai Kuno took part in the demonstration. Meanwhile, a large number of students of Jonathan Higher Secondary School in fall also formed human chain in, from the, in front of the school gate this morning. Kurai area also witnessed similar protests by students from various schools in the area. The protester chanted slogans demanding prompt Disclosure of the terms of agreement of the government of India and NSCNI am recently reached between the two sides ahead of the final settlement. Wangai Kuno Subim Lekai Amadi Hatagi Maira Paibishing Amadi Usu School Heli School Lekai is the Lady Bus School Mayampuna in support of the Kokomi late statewide station, students of Ibotan Sanahar Secondary School and Brilliant School Uripo in fall stage of human chain protests along the Uripo Kangchup Road. The students chanted several solo guns. Volunteers of Lamerol also staged an alert sit-in protest in support of the Kokomi late protest today in front of Lamyan Bashanglin in Palace Compound. Akoi Lamerol ngi sayro lai na akoi maugi singda chalabi tara ni pana ngasi laiba ki sumba isu sida akoi su kathok sagi hai dunna akoi su Kokomi ki makada akoi su saru ya zari Manipur imagi shaktam. On the other hand, residents of Yumnam Lekai in fall stage an alert protest in front of Yumnam Lekai Larambi by blocking half of the road today. Ekoi nupa nupi imai ben pulap asi ekoi amat ngoi na lingjin lemi na bo ngoi na ngasi gi mi pamasi pamsa bani aduna ekoi hanbal ita na auzi ekoi gi apun mai saktam si kai na bohon arak petar kadi ekoi hanbal ita na ekoi gi ahalam malici le nau isi esan saatra mahero ekoi gi leka isi dalai riba singa si ju thok tana yauzi gani hai bawa pamsi thamsa ge. The Apunba Kongba Nong Thongbam Laika in solidarity with Kokomi today blocked Sing Jamai Kongba Road halfway at Kongba Bazaar. The protester demanded the 60 MLAs of the state to leave Manipur and pursue the center regarding the Indonaga peace talk so that Manipur integrity is not disrupted. Talking to media person Kokomi Assistant Coordinator and Community Affairs Abdullah Pundre Mayum criticized the Manipur government for failing to convey a special state assembly session despite repeated assurance. <laughs> Nam Tabagi Monga, but the Tongan, but the Togani. I coined a Toraga Lore, Nako the Kanabagi, the car, Lady Hangasi, or even Kongtangas in Asuma, some little junction like the Taragadi. I call you Miana, I call you Tungi, Tunglam Chat Amagi Damata, I call you Mian, where no Hanga Lady have a Pamjo Tamjage, I call you Miam, Sakamagi Pangalan Birakano, Nasida Kokomi, I call you Miam Lusini, 
Akui Miano Kokomise, Lusimangam David and Zam, Tolapotargadi, Masi Manipur Safa, Adum Nabab. First Korean Studies Workshop for Indian Educators in Northeast India was kicked off at Manipur University Court Hall today. The two day workshop is being organized by Foreign Language Korean Department, Manipur University, under the sponsorship of Korean Foundation. Ten Korean language students were given scholarship under Korean Shinhan Bank at the event where a colorful cultural program was also showcased. Director of Indian Korean Cultural Center Kim Kum Pyong expressed pleasure over the growth of Korean language and culture in the northeastern parts of the country. He further urged the youngsters to take advantage of the workshop and the employment opportunity to be provided by the Korean companies. He asserted that the younger generation must understand their own culture first before knowing Korean culture. I think based, based on uh, your own culture, you have to learn others. If not, it's good too much. You lose your own identity. So I strongly recommend you uh, to uh, learn your uh, own culture first. After that, a Korean culture, and uh, especially youngsters, don't uh, addict it too much to Korean film or drama. <laughs> you study first. Uh, but they are not uh, only Korean language or cultural teachers. They, they are uh, regular teachers in social science and foreign language. But uh, we want them uh, to learn more about uh, uh, Korean uh, culture and language and, and uh, include in their teaching. The center has issued advisory to all states to remain alert and rush around 4,000 paramilitary personnel to Uttar Pradesh ahead of the crucial Supreme Court verdict on Ram Janmabhumi Babri Masjid dispute case. Railway police has also cancelled leave of its force and step of vessel at 78 major stations and on train as part of security preparedness according to media reports. In its seven-page advisory to all its zones, the railway police force directed all its journal establishment to deploy security personnel escorting trains. They have also been asked to step up vessel at all potential hotspots, which could either be a site for any violence or could be used to hide explosives ahead of the verdict. Doen Sona, a missing man who hails from Meghalaya, was found in Wangwe area of Manipur. Doen is a resident of that last Kian block under West Jantia Hills of Meghalaya and had been missing since October 14. During a press meet at Classic Grande, Emily of Jawi constituency Meghalaya, Waldamiki Shaila expressed his gratitude to the people who helped in locking Doen. He thanked the Manipur Police Department, Deputy CMY Joy Kumar, and everyone who helped in finding him. Notably, the whereabouts of Doen was revealed when Manipuri film actor D. Lokendra uploaded a video on social media. Today he is here with us. It's because all of them. Because because I have heard from him that they used to give him shelter, they used to give him food and all. So, on behalf of myself and from the family, and even uh, I I was speaking to our chief minister, Sri Konrad K. Sangma, chief minister of Meghalaya. I was speaking to him uh, on the phone because he also has have helped us a lot in this. I was inform him that we have found our man. So he also said that please express my uh, uh, gratitude to the people of Manipur as well. Now it's time for a short break. Coming up next, we have news on IPSA to ban private practice by government doctors from January 1st. Kamaina state asiki examination da nang to foi ri banwa ba aina su kan ho na ba adu ga position manung fa bo chan da ba lahir yam na pa ba na su lahir yam na hi gani ma yam phang gani ha ba de lan gani ai koi bu tak pi tam bi ri ba osa sing do gi way of teaching and guidelines sing do gi ma kha yam na pon ra na khali wa sa sang do ngar gom se na se na mai pak ni se mukta tutorials a critic pi sak mukta tutorials handa ki oina class 10 number 12 tha ga da ba student sing gi revision class lak lewa november 14 da gi hau zara gani Center Asida Hena Kudong Chaba Amana, subject Amagi course fee, Subna Degi Lupalishing Ahum Chamana Oigani. Kaubi Raganu, Mukta Tutorials, Kwaka Tilmai Koibi, opposite Millennium Institute of Science. Young Wadi, Sukhobuludi, 
Wab do kong nabar rebalance. Song thaba do kong nabar rebalance. Rebalance na haksang ni Sol ama di electrolyte sing di awat pa mengkatu na. Adong di haksang mo tangkat tangkat tik na thambang amali. Rebalance haba di electrolytes ama di energy. Welcome back after the break. International Peace and Social Advancement IPSA has declared to impose a blanket ban on private practice by government doctors from January 1, 2020. Addressing media at IPSA office at Keshampat Organization Secretary, Waikom Rabi urged the private hospitals running in Manipur to stop business that cause human lives. <laughs> Ikhoi pesen sing sibu lu ina biu, amadi pesen parti nasu pen dia hai hai dun nasu hektar doktor singa ninga isang na nabi wakalun jadi tadok biu authority ema lebi ni authority juga hana pamin nara kanda authority dunar diks lorok terkanda ikhoi tau gua abat tau ina si hai dunah ipsa gis hai tegi thamzake. Over the failure to clear pending wages of laborers engaged in the construction of a ground-based tower of Bharati Infrastructure Limited construction. One of the laborers, Angom Iboton of Moidampok, urged the concerned authority to pay the due wages amounting to rupees 50,000 before 12th of this month. He threatened that failure to fulfill the demand would lead to shutting down of the main airtel tower located at Tarojam from November 13th next. He was talking to media at Manipur Press Club Imphal today. <laughs> Matamsang na tabak suru roga misti goi ba kusuman tika na pibi dre bender na traga na bahatiar infatel limited na tang trai thai umonung da ekoi kusuman pitho piu na traga di tang traum doi digi ekoi tharoi jam da leiba tawar asi ting jalagani lebar iyo nengal luna roga. Under the National Health Mission, a one-day free medical camp was held today at the premises of Kangaboka Kundol Upper Primary School, Taubal District. The event was organized by District Health Society, Taubal in association with Village Development Organization, Kangabok, Popular Youth Club, Kangabok, and Rising Union Club, Kangabok. More than 150 individuals were given free medical treatment and medicines during the camp. X-ray facility was also provided free of course to the participants. Sikum lepa, so nona miliun bi singgi, koi ultrasound, lupa ngam jeda apa lagi ultrasound, lupa ngam jeda apa, mana mui dina, ana apa kaya jawab, sing sisi koi nak ultrasound, lupa ibu dong jawab, kaya apa ngasih gi, ultrasound lama di X-ray gi, free dah, lupa nabi dah muka ibu dong jawab tu ngasih gi, sing free health care, sing tak koi ngam jadi. Medical officer in charge of primary health center, Sangkayumpam, Dr A Chandramani, M O Dr Huda. And other doctors took part in the game. Cookie Students Organization KSO, Samulam Lam Lan Block, along with Samulam Lan Area Chief Association Churachanpur, today inspected the Sangang Primary Health Center in Churachanpur District. The visit came after a local news TV channel recently reported on the stable condition of the health center. However, Education Secretary of KSO, David Kum, coordinated the TV report. Talking to media, he said that the primary health center was found filled with patients and all the staff members were doing their job properly round the clock. David, however, urged the concerned department to take steps for further improvement of the primary health center. The PHS has five doctors, six nurses, four paramedic staff members and three subordinate staff. KSO, Samulam Lan and Sibesan, Sagang PAC, will visit Tauzare. Tauzer Mutung, the Sagam PAC 24 by 7, ran Tauduna after 10 years, Homunung, the Ran Tauduna Hospital Sebu, Public Ta, Press Media, the Lan, one BBC, KSO, Amasung, Samulam Lan, Chibason, Noitava, I see Press Media, Gimating Loro Pungdok Seri, Film of Taiko, KSO, Timga, Samulam Lan, Chibason, Visit Chatre, 24 by 7, Ran Tauduna, Sagam PAC, Ran Hazana Tauri, I see the press release the Nasikuna Pungdok Seri. Friendly environmental warriors view Jiribam has postponed the price distribution function of plastic-related waste collection competition indefinitely owing the present condition of the state. This was informed in a press note from few. The proscribed repog has deeply condoled the demise of its corporal Sanasam Nanao Maite, alias Rajis, alias Leibak Macha, aged 26 years, son of S. Bijoy Singh of Tok Kampur, Sajib. 
In a statement released to the press today, the Outfit Publicity Officer, Department of Publicity and Propaganda Achobo said, Pripak pays revolutionary salute to the late color. It said, may his soul rest in peace. Citizens Council Manipur has disturbed distributed mic sets along with pen drives loaded with pen with pena folk music to nine different places of Manipur. The council appreciated Ipu Lamyanba, Ukal and UFO for handing over another mic set to the council along with pen drives for the purpose of playing traditional Yakai roll music. A special prayer session seeking peace and peaceful coexistence among different ethnic communities of Manipur was held at Manipur Baptist Convention MBC Center, Chingmarong. All Manipur Christian Organization Amuko organized a special prayer session in the wake of a folding situation in the state caused by the final lake of Indo Naga Peace Parleys. Once again, it's time for a short break. Keep watching Times of Manipur News. Smart Security Service Triple S Terra Bazarna Kangabo Branski Oina Ahangba Fam Karakozari Hariba Fam Sing Adudi Security Supervisor Security Guard Helper Gardener Gunman or Arm Guard Go Chokidar Home Tutor Essence Hall Manipur Form Thazan Bagi Aroiba Numitna Lakliva November Gitang Tara Amadi Interview Ki Numitna Lakliva November Gitang Tara Matuidani Form Pang Pam Amadi Hena Akupa Moro Gitama Contact Obiru Smart Security Service Triple S Contact Number 6009224539 Welcome back after the break KBS Makoi Langjing, Brickfield Langjing, KBS Brick Plan Langjing and KBS Brick Industry Patsoi Lamkai jointly organized an alert meeting along National Highway 37 at Patsoi Lamkai today. The meeting was in support of the Kokomi Agitation vis a vis the Indonaga peace to play cards like Do, Do Not Break Manipur, Bring Solution, Not Problem, Give Peace, Not Peace, Long Live Manipur were held by the demonstrators. Manipur police arrested two active cadavers of the proscribed UNLF during counter-insurgency operation at Singh Jamaichinga Mathak in fall yesterday. They have been identified as MD Nizamuddin, aged 46 years of Ureb Chinga Lekai and Jingakam David Maite, aged 32 years of Kairau Wangkim. Acting on a tip-off, the UNLF cadaver were arrested by a team of Imphal East Police under the supervision of Deputy Superintendent of Police Commando Imphal East, K.H. Harojit. Upon interrogation, it was learned that both the cadres had visited Tamu in Myanmar to meet one Richard of UNLF. Reportedly, the cops also seized one Honda Activa, a Honda Dio, and two mobile handsets from their possessions. The seized items, along with apprehended cadres, were handed over to Singh Jamai Police Station for further legal course of action. A one-day Mao market is open today in front of Idol Club of Sagol Bantera in Imphal West. The temporary market is jointly organized by Ipsa Mao Market Coordinating Council and other local clubs and organizations. A team of Imphal East Commando, including women police personnel under the supervision of additional superintendent of police operation Imphal East, T.H. Krishna Tombi, conducted combing operation at Andro parking area of Imphal East this morning. Around 94 persons were verified, while four persons were picked up and handed over to Parampat Police Station for further verification. <laughs> Tribal Research Institute Manipur and All Tribal Students Union Manipur, ATSAM, in partnership with Department of Social Welfare, Government of Manipur, under the aegis of Ministry of Tribal Affairs today, organized an awareness program on women and child trafficking among tribals, means of protection at the Auditorium of Tribal Research Institute, Chingmarong, Info. Additional Chief Secretary Tribal Affairs and Hills Government of Manipur, Let Kojin Hauke, President of ATSAM, Vario Satsang, Program Officer State Child Protection Society, Mala Lisham, and several others attended the event. Speaking at the event, let Kojin Haukip say that in the year 2013-2016, the rate of human trafficking was very high in the hill districts of Manipur. Even newly born babies were trafficked. He added mostly 
young children have fallen victims to trafficking. Let Kojin Hawkeep question the idea behind parents sending their children to outside educational institutes for study, even though there are so many such institutes in the state. Lions Club of Wangjing Lions Club of International District 322D organized an international level peace poster contest at Wangjing and Kongjom yesterday. Altogether, 70 students of IRE College of Teachers Education, Wangjing and Kongjom Standard English School participated in the contest held on the theme Journey of Peace for Class 6 to 8. At the event, Lions Club of Wangjing felicitated national awardee Mudum Tombi Machasing had Master of Techjam Upper Primary School. An overnight earthquake in northwestern Iran today killed five people and injured 120, according to, according to media reports. The 5.9 magnitude quake struck about 120 kilometers southeast of the city of Tabriz in eastern Azerbaijan province in the early hours of the morning. The shallow quake was 8 kilometers deep and was followed by five aftershocks. Iran's sites were two major tectonic plates made and experiences frequent seismic activity. The country has suffered a number of major disasters in recent decades, including at the ancient city of Bam, which was decimated by a catastrophic earthquake in 2003 that killed at least 31,000 people. Now, the sports news. A three-day third Northeast India MN Surya Kung Fu Championship 2019 has kicked off. Kick started at Ngaikong Kulin Community Hall, Bishnupur today. The championship is organized by Old Bishnupur District Martial Arts Association, Project Director of PWD External Aid Project Y Joy Kumar, Advisor of Amuko Dr. Y Mani Kuman, and Advisor of Amba TH Norendro attended the opening event. Altogether, 120 Kung Fu players are participating in the tournament. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Protester for massive human chain in Manipur. Kim Kum Pyong happy overgrowth of Korean language and culture in northeastern region. And ahead of Ayodhya verdict, 4,000 paramilitary forces rushed to UP. That's all we have in this bulletin. Keep watching Times of Manpur News. Contact Classic Hospitality Training Institute, Center 1, Babina Diagnostics Building, or Center 2, Hotel Imphal by the Classic. Young Wadi. Sukhtabu Luluidi. 
Wabdu kong nabar Revelance. Song tha wabdu kong nabar Revelance. Revelance na haksang ni Sol amadi electrolyte singi awat pa mengkatu na adong ki haksang bu tagat tagat tik na thambang amali. Revelance hai wabdi electrolytes amadi energy. Asing bu do hayo kamay na state asik ki examination da nang na tofu ay riba no ba? Ay na sukan na ho na ba? Ato ka position manung pa wo chan da ba? Lahirik yam na pa haba na su lahirik yam na hai gani mahak yam pang gani hai wabdi laan gani ye. Ekoi buat apa itu ambil riba, asal sing dogi, way of teaching and guidelines sing dogi, makanya mana pun berani kahli. Wah saya, sang dog ngaruh gomse. Nasi ini nama ipak nase. Mukta tutorials akredit bisa. Mukta tutorials. Hendak kau ina class ten, nama dia dua ftha gada bahasa student sing dogi revision class. Lakleban abim.